I just finished filming a skincare, how I got rid of my acne kind of video. So that's going to be up and I'm just going to go ahead and do a tutorial since my camera's up and everything. So first step as always, let's put our hair back with our cute little Mickey ears as always. And um, today I'm going to do a ranch riding look. I'm going to try to make this super simple, just stuff that you can kind of throw in your bag and take out to show with you. Ranch riding is a lot more casual in the attire they wear, so I'm not going to do anything crazy. Just some really good staple products for horse show and yeah, let's get into it. So to start off, I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. I just picked this up the other day from Ulta and so far I love it. It feels so nice on your skin like I can't even tell you it just it's supposed to fill in all the fine lines all the pores everything and that's exactly what it feels like it's doing like it just glides I'm telling you and so the next step I would do which I always do is I prime my face and then I do my brows just because I feel like when I use a pomade which is like the cream dip brow from Anastasia I feel like it glides on easier if I don't have any foundation on so that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do this off camera just because it takes me a while, but I can link off my brow routine But if you just want something quick and you don't care about filling in your brows or you have awesome brows already I would definitely recommend like a brow gel or the benefit give me brow It's just like a little bit of a tint for your brows and the give me brow has some little fibers and whatnot But that would be a really great quick option for horses. So I will be right back while I do my brows Okay, so my brows are on just normal brow routine and then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Something that I really like to do for shows, if it's like an all day show or it's just a show where you're not going to put a bunch of makeup on, is using a CC cream. So my all time favorite one is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. It has SPF 50 in it, so it's really awesome for outdoor shows. And it's super easy to apply, I just use my hands. I use like a pump and a half or two, however I feel. Then I start off by dotting it everywhere. And then I just massage it in. And then I take a damp beauty blender. I finally bought a real one. It's dirty, of course, but um, it's wet from this morning, so it's not soaked or anything. But I just go in and like actually blend it out now. <laughs> so next, if you want to highlight your face, you totally can. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi just to add some brightness. I don't really have super dark circles or anything, but I like to highlight. <laughs> and as I always say, I don't know if you've seen my videos before, but if you're going to actually go to a show, don't put any foundation or use very minimal product on your forehead so that it doesn't transfer onto your hat as much. Um, I always do it when I'm doing my videos just because I'm usually wearing this makeup out around going to class or whatever I'm doing later today and I don't want to look crazy with no foundation on my head. <laughs> So that's that, and then I'm gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I used to use this all the time, and then I just stopped using it, and then I picked it up the other day when I went to Ulta as well. I'm a huge fan of IT Cosmetics, as you probably can tell by now. And I'm just gonna conceal like my scars over here, nothing too crazy. And then I've been using a new product to set my under eyes. I've been using the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. Um, it is super bright, and if you're a darker skin tone, I don't think this is gonna work on you at all. But I'm like a light medium skin tone. I'm an NC25 in MAC, if you guys follow that whole thing. And it's very bright. If I used to, like, you can't bake with this unless you want a white under eye. But it is really nice to set um, the under eye. It's super finely milled. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it and it's not like a highlighter type of shimmer you can't see it really like it's not gonna really deflect anything um, but if you look really close you can see it so if you don't like that don't buy this but I really like the powder it's a really finely milled nice powder it was only I think $10 so good price and then I'm quickly gonna set the rest of my face with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra High Definition Loose Finishing Powder that is a mouthful but I also picked this up as Ulta the other day. We don't carry it at Sephora, so hence 
the Ulta splurge. Then I'm just gonna set my face really quickly. This powder is so nice. It blurs like everything on your face. You won't have pores after this, I promise. So now I'm just gonna put some brow gel in because I don't do that till after I powder my face so that it doesn't stick to my brows, if that makes sense. This is the Milani Clear Brow Gel. And I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna do eyeshadow or not. I don't know, what do you guys think? I wish you guys could like reply to me right now and tell me what you think. Hmm, let me get back to you on that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is try to keep it something simple, um, and I'm only gonna use two brushes, so let's see how this goes. I'm also using the Urban Decay Naked One Eyeshadow Palette. So the two brushes I have are, it's a MAC 217, so it's just a kind of flat blending brush though. And then I'm using a synthetic flat brush to pack on some colors. So first I'm gonna go in with the color Naked. I'm taking that on the MAC 217 brush. And first I'm gonna start with the brush in my crease going side to side. I'm just using whatever foundation and whatnot is already on my lid. And I'm gonna put this into the crease. And then once I have it there, I'm flipping the brush so that the wide part is going. I don't know if this makes sense, but first I started with like the skinny part perpendicular, like this way. I don't know if you can see this, but first I go on like this, and now I'm flipping it this way and blending it out like that. I hope this is making sense to you guys, because it's really not complicated, I just don't know how to explain it. Okay, so then I'm going to blend it out using the brush sideways. And now I'm just going to spray the synthetic brush with water, Fix Plus, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter, no, Chill Setting Spray, because it's in front of me. And I'm going to start out with the color Sin, and I'm going to put this on the inner part of my lid. So I'm taking it about halfway, and I'm getting it a little bit in the crease, but not anything crazy. Then I'm just going to flip the brush over and spray that side. And now I'm going to go in with the color Sidecar. So I'm patting on the lid, slightly overlapping that first color, and then just with the tip of the brush am I going up into the crease. And then I'm going to go back to the MAC 217, and I'm going to take the color Hustle, no, let's go with, let's go with Dark Horse and see how this goes. So I'm taking this color right here, just a little bit of it for right now, and then putting this on the outer part of my eye. Again, I'm packing this one on, and then I'm going to start blending just with the tip of the brush. I don't want to take this too far into the crease. And then I'm flipping my brush sideways again and just very, very softly blending the edge out. And now I'm just going to wipe off my brush really fast. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the color Naked, which is the first color we went in with, and use that to help blend out the edge. So I decided to take this dark color up into the crease a little bit more towards the inner corner with whatever's left on my brush, I'm not adding like excess product. And I lied to you guys, I'm gonna need a third brush just cause I want it to blend out more seamlessly. I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush, it can be whatever you want with no product and blending out the edge. See what a difference that made? I don't know if you can, but I sure can. So here's my little trick is I use like a instant brush cleaner if you will. This is the Sephora brand mini citrus brush cleaner and it basically dries right away so I just spray my brush in between if I'm doing like a dark color and then I wipe it off on a paper towel or a towel or whatever's around my leg. I do that and I just inhaled it. Okay and then the brush is dry like it's it's just a little mist that takes out all the excess color. And I'm going to take the color Virgin, which is right here, on my MAC 217, and I'm going to use this on my brow bone. Now I'm taking a little bit more of Naked on the tip of the brush, running it along my lower lash line. 
And I'm not gonna put it any darker than that. I just want it very soft and smoky. Okay, and then I'm just gonna wipe off that brush once again. I'm gonna take the color Virgin and just put it right on the inner corner. Just a little bit. And that's basically it for the eyes. Pretty simple, just blend. Have some shimmery colors on your eyelid. And then I'm gonna take my absolute favorite eyeliner to tight line with. It's the Marc Jacobs Highliner, just the black one. This stuff is so stinking good. Like you guys, it's so worth, I think it's $26, it's so worth it. And we're gonna tight line. This I'm just using in place of using eyeliner on my top lash line because um, just using like a little bit of eyeliner on your tight line is gonna make your lashes look bolder. It's gonna make the lash line look bolder. It just makes a difference. Even though it's something so simple and little, it makes a huge difference. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick. Then I'm using the IT Cosmetics Superhero uh, mascara on my top lashes. I'm gonna use the MAC Extended Play on my bottom lashes, as always. Okay, and then moving back to my face, I'm taking the Profusion Contour Kit. I've talked about this a ton of times, it is so affordable. I got a TJ Maxx for $8. And I'm taking this contouring shade on, this is a Morphe M509, it's a dupe for the MAC 137. It's just a fluffy brush that you can very lightly contour with, which I love. And this palette, the formula is so good, and I love the tones of all the colors. And I'm just very softly defining my face. Like I said, for ranch riding, you don't have to go all out. It can be so simple. You don't even have to do this much. I just wanted to give you something more than just foundation and mascara like I usually would. And lastly, for lips, I have something a little bit different. So the first I'm just gonna go in and line my lips. You totally don't have to do this. I just like to because I just like to. So I'm gonna do that really fast and then I'll get to the good part. Look at that, I have a lip. Okay, so there's two really easy things you could do. Well, technically three. One, just go with chapstick. Technically four. One, don't go with anything. Two, go with chapstick. Three, you can put a little bit of lip liner on and then go over with some chapstick to spread it out and then it's kind of like a lip tint. Or the really fun part that I've never done in any of my other videos is a lip tint or like a lip stain. So this is the Josie Marin Argon Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. And this is in the color Boundless Berry. So it comes out super dark looking, but basically what it does is it stains your lips throughout the day. So it's definitely gonna be on all day. If you're comfortable with your lip shape, I think it's perfect. So I should show you, it comes out just like, um, kind of like a, the lip gloss you squeeze out of a tube, but it's obviously tinted. And then I just like to go back in with some, I'm using my foundation actually, but you can use concealer or whatever, you don't even have to do this but I like to clean up the edges. Okay, so I'm done. I thought I'd be like really cute and do some Dutch braids, but they got real messy real fast. So, let me sit like this. So this is the completed look for a ranch riding look. <laughs> um, like I said, tone it down, tone it up, do your thing, but I just wanted to make something kind of simple, travel friendly, horse show friendly, you know the drill. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.